Welcome to Superhero Stories. I am your host, Captain EJ. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Pokemon. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Captain EJ will be your guide. This story is brought to you by my friend, Mrs. Honeybee. Let's begin. You, Ash, and Pikachu are enjoying an evening walk through the Kanto forest. The sun is going down in the evening sky, and you can begin to see the stars twinkling in the last bit of sunshine. Pikachu is walking beside you, holding your hand in his yellow paw. He is so little that you have to slow down your typical walking pace so his little legs can keep up. Your footsteps kick up dust from the dirt path you are following. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose as you walk slowly. Feel the cool evening air coming in through your nose and expanding your chest. Breathe out through your mouth and enjoy the beautiful surroundings with Pikachu and Ash. Look up into the treetops as you pass by. Two big yellow eyes are looking out of the very top of one leafy tree. It's a friendly owl looking down to you. The owl rustles the leaves to expand her wings out and then soars overhead, flying along the evening breeze. You can hear her owl friends making their sounds in the other trees. Pikachu lets go of your hand to run a creek just up ahead. He hops and prances through the grass and between the trees until he gets to the very edge. You and Dash turn to follow him to the creek, walking through the tall grass that brushes against your legs. Ash takes off his shoes and sits down next to Pikachu on a boulder sticking out of the flowing water with his feet below the surface. Pikachu is completely submerged in the creek, dunking under the water then jumping up into the air and splashing. You take off your shoes and put your toes in the cool water. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and feel your chest fill with fresh air. Then breathe out through your mouth like the flowing water and walk into the creek until your ankles are submerged. Pikachu hops beside you and giggles as he splashes cool water onto your legs and hands. Bend down to dip your hands into the water and pet Pikachu on the head. Then walk back to the shore and sit with Ash. The sun has set and given way to the moon which is shining bright. Pikachu continues to splash and play in the water while you and Ash watch from the shore and the owls hoot and watch from the treetops. Pikachu is finally tired of playing in the water because it has gotten quite dark in the Kanto forest. The moonlight does not shine through the treetops overhead. Pikachu points his paw in the air and from his electric cheek shoots a bolt of electricity that acts as a momentary light bulb for you and Ash. The trees and forest around you light up in the glow, then fade back to darkness and moonlight. Pikachu keeps zapping his electricity to make light bulb after light bulb so he can see his path back to you and Ash. When he gets to your side, with only a couple more steps to go, you take another slow, deep breath in through your nose, and when you breathe out, you feel a light zap on your fingertips. Your big breath in through your nose drew the forest air in toward you, and Pikachu accidentally zapped you with his electricity. He is so sorry and rushes to your side to make sure you're okay. You are perfectly fine and are so strong you hardly felt it. But now your fingertips feel tingly. You hold your hands up to see in the moonlight and they glow a light yellow glow, even in the shady darkness under the trees. Point your fingertips up in the air, take a breath in through your nose, and when you breathe out, electrify the nighttime sky with your fingertips, just like Pikachu. A jolt of electricity shoots out from your fingertips and creates little fireworks. Pikachu gave you his electric powers. That's when Ash hears a low growl coming from the dark water. It's a polyrath that likes to come out at night and he's not very friendly. Ash tries to tell him how nice you all are, but he doesn't believe you. Good thing you have defenses just like Pikachu. You two can battle him together. Polyrath is swimming quickly toward you, using all of his strength. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and point your fingertips at the water with Pikachu. When you breathe out, electrify the water to create a barrier around you, Pikachu and Ash, so Polyrath can't get near you. The water lights up with yours and Pikachu zamps and Polyrath is scared off. He continues to swim down the creek without bothering you. Without any other disruptions, you, Ash, and Pikachu are able to enjoy the best part of an evening walk through the forest, a campfire. While you and Pikachu were fighting off Polyrath, 
Ash was collecting sticks for a fire. You and Pikachu zap the sticks with your electricity and a campfire instantly roars. A plume of gray smoke floats up through the treetops. The owls sit over the fire to feel its warmth up in the tree. Sitting next to Pikachu and Ash, you can feel the warmth of the flames on your cheeks. Take your slowest, deepest breath in yet and feel the peace and warmth of the fire. Then breathe out through your mouth and relax in front of the campfire with Pikachu and Ash. They are so happy to be here with you and have had so much fun with you. You are getting sleepy since you are so comfortable. Pikachu is too. Ash sees your eyes getting heavier and heavier and begins to tell campfire stories that lull both of you into a relaxing, restful sleep full of wonderful dreams. I love that story, Captain EJ. I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks for having me. Can you tell the next one about the Caterpie that wanted to evolve? Yep. Ready when you are. I'm ready. Let the story begin. You are strolling through the Viridian Forest. The sky is so bright blue with such perfect puffy clouds that it looks painted. The sun is shining down on you, warming your skin. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you continue to stroll, you come upon a caterpie that seems to be in distress. He's slithering along the dirt path, but looks tired as he moves his worm-like body forward with all of his might. When he notices you walking up behind him, he thinks you're a foe instead of a friend. He coils himself back as far as he can and prepares to use his dust shield ability on you to battle. You put your hands out with a smile and let him know that you are a friend, not a foe. He slowly uncoils himself and begins to trust you. Reach down to pick up Caterpie and bring him into the grass under the shade of a tall tree. The fresh forest breeze blows through the leaves. You set your new Caterpie friend down in the grass and he tells you that he always wanted to evolve, but is convinced that he can't. You look into Caterpie's big, sad bug eyes and want so badly to help him evolve. That's when you get an idea, one that has always helped you grow into an even better version of you. Caterpie is delighted that you have an idea that will potentially help him. He's been worrying and worrying, trying and trying to evolve on his own for a long, long time. You look down lovingly and tell him that this is likely his problem. All of his worrying. Scoop Caterpie into your arms and hold him tight. Then, together, take a slow, deep breath in through your nose. Feel the fresh forest air expand in your chest and your heartbeat beating steadily. Then, when you breathe out through your mouth, use your belly muscles to blow out all of your worrying thoughts along with your breath. With a clear mind and a strongly beating heart, you tell Caterpie that you can do anything you set your mind and your heart to, but first they need to be clear and open. Caterpie feels overjoyed, more optimistic about his evolution than he has ever felt. You check your Pokedex and see that Caterpie has only one more level to go until he can evolve. Take another slow, deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth with Caterpie. That did the trick. In an instant, Caterpie swirls around and sticks to the tree trunk as a Metapod, the next evolution. Metapod is taller and bigger than Caterpie was and has a hard green exterior to protect itself while it transforms. Metapod, who was your Caterpie friend, is so happy you are here to help him. He's only ever dreamed of becoming a Metapod, and now here he is, cocooned and hanging off this tree trunk by an indestructible string. He's a little too high up the tree for you to comfortably see him. Reach up your hands to climb the tree, then place your feet on the trunk as you pull yourself up. Right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand until you can plop yourself on the tree branch right above where Metapod is hanging. You can swing your legs back and forth in the breeze and enjoy this high up view of the forest through the leaves, which are speckled with sunshine. Take another slow, deep breath in through your nose. Feel the cool forest air coming in through your nose and filling your lungs. Then breathe out through your mouth and hear the leaves around you rustling against your powerful breath. 
Menopod has followed your lead because he wants to evolve not only to a Menopod, but all the way to a Butterfree. He has always wanted to fly freely through the forest instead of slithering around as a caterpillar or being stuck in one place hanging onto a tree trunk. Looking down at Menopod below, you tell him that you believe in him and that he will be able to evolve. You check your Pokedex and sure enough, Metapod has only another level to go before he can evolve to his final form, a Butterfree. With this breath, you and Metapod need to do something special. Before you take a breath in, you need to say out loud, I can be whatever I dream of being. On the count of three, say that out loud with Metapod. I can be whatever I dream of being. Metapod is so inspired and convinced that he can actually become a Butterfree once and for all. Take another slow, deep breath in through your nose. Feel the possibility of your dreams coming true as the heartbeat in your chest. Then breathe out through your mouth and look back to Metapod. Before you can even look to see him, he has evolved into a Butterfree and is fluttering around you high up on the tree branch. He is the biggest, strongest butterfly you've ever seen that you can't help but smile. Butterfree is happily flapping his new butterfly wings, admiring the height to which he can fly with his newfound abilities. His wish was to become a Butterfree, but since you've helped him so much, he wants to take you along for his first flight through the Viridian Forest. Butterfree swoops you up and sets you on his back between his two flapping wings. Together, you soar from one end of the forest to the other, over trees, tiptoeing over river currents, landing inside flowers, soaring along the breeze which carries you effortlessly, and having the time of your life. You see all of your favorite Pokemon on this flight and they wave as you flutter by. Butterfree is finally who he has always wanted to be and is so happy you are here with him. That concludes our story. I can't wait to see you again. Captain EJ, over and out.